In this equation, we are given 250 ml of 1 mole of sodium hydroxide and 250 ml of 1 mole of hydrochloric acid. Both guys are at 1 atm. That means constant pressure, so we have to use a coffee cup calorimeter. Now, we are also given a T initial of 23 degrees Celsius and a T final of 31 degrees Celsius. Our specific heat capacity for both guys is 4.18 joules per gram times Celsius. We want to find, our goal is to find the change in enthalpy or change in energy of our solution. So, we take our coffee cup calorimeter, we mix the two different types of compounds, we wait a little, we wait for the observed change in temperature to occur, and we have to calculate the change in energy that corresponds to that change in temperature. So, our first step is to see exactly what's going on within our coffee cup calorimeter. So, we're basically mixing one mole of sodium hydroxide and one mole of hydrochloric acid. We get dissociated ions, one mole of each, and then, and then these guys recombine to form one mole of salt and one mole of water. So, our second step and third step involves finding the total grams of our mixture. So, we want to find the grams of sodium hydroxide and the grams of hydrochloric acid. This will become important in, in, uh, in uh, th using this equation. So this M corresponds to the total mass. That's why we need to find the total mass. So first, before we find the grams of uh, sodium hydroxide, we have to find the moles of sodium hydroxide. To find the moles, we have to take our one molar solution of sodium hydroxide, we multiply that by our volume in liters. So multiplied by 0 0.250 liters, and we get 0.25 moles of sodium hydroxide because the liters cancel. The second step is to find the grams of sodium hydroxide. To find the grams, we must first find the molecular weight of sodium hydroxide. To find the molecular weight, we simply add up the atomic weights of each atom. So, 23 moles per gram or grams per mole for sodium plus 16 grams per mole for oxygen plus 1 gram per mole for H and we get 40 grams per mole times the number of moles moles cancel and we get 10 grams of sodium hydroxide mixed into our solution. Our third step is to uh, follow the same exact steps that we just followed just for uh, hydrochloric acid. So, find the moles 1 mole per liter times 0.25 liters gets you 0.25 moles of hydrochloric acid. Now the same step. We have to find a molecular weight of hydrochloric acid, multiply that by our moles, and we get grams. So, 1 gram per mole for H plus 35.5 gram per mole for chlorine, and we get 36.5 gram per mole times 0.25 moles, moles cancel, and we get 9.13 grams of hydrochloric acid. Finally, we use our formula to find the uh, energy change and we get the total mass 10 plus 9.13, so 19.13 grams, times 4.18 joules per Celsius times gram, um, which we get from here, and our T final minus T initial. So, 31 minus 23 and we get 640 40 joules but this corresponds to 0.25 moles of HCl and 0.25 moles of sodium hydroxide we want to find what corresponds to one mole of each so we basically have to multiply this guy by 4 or we could divide this guy by 0.25 we get the same answer so 640 joules divided by 0 0.250 mole gets you 2560 joules per mole and that's our final answer so 2560 joules are released when this guy is mixed so that's why our water inside is heated 
to this temperature because this amount of energy is released into our solution, into our water, into the system, and that heats our solution.